Our goal is to take this data set and create a ranked sales report. And we want to use Power Query. Now, if we decide to use Power Query rather than formulas or a pivot table, it's not as easy as just using a rank function or a rank feature. Now, the starting data is in our Excel worksheet. So we go up to Data, Get and Transform from Table or Range. This opens up the Power Query Editor. We'll rename our query, something like Rank Report. Now, the first thing we want to do is Total Sales by Product. And we do that in Power Query with the Group By feature. I'm going to right click the Product Field name and Group By. Grouping by Product will give us a unique list. We'll call this Total sales, the function will be sum and will act on the sales column. Now we click OK. And there's our first group by. Now notice we have a tie. We'll have to contend with that also. Now there's no rank function or feature, so the first thing we do is to sort. Sort total sales, Z to A. Then we come up to Add Column, add an index column from 1. Now notice we have 1, 2, and that might be what you want. But if you want 1, 1, and then 3, then we have to get a little tricky. We're actually going to group this column, and the aggregate calculation will be, please give me the min of the index. So we right click Total Sales, and this will be our second group by. We need to do Advanced. The first column is I need to get the records for all the items grouped together. So for example, these two records here will be grouped together because there's two 340s. And we do that by selecting the calculation All Rows. Now we add an aggregation. This will be our rank. We'll take the min of the index column. Now when I click OK, if I click in the column for records, there's the table object sitting in that cell. And we can see there's our two records. There's the min calculation of 1. We now need to expand for each one of these tables and get the product. So I come up to the top of the column, the Expand button, uncheck everything. We'll select Product only, click OK. We can move Product before Total Sales, and there's our report. So we had to group first to get Total Sales, then sort the Total Sales column, add an index, and group to get our min, then expand records. Now we can come to Home, Close and Load, Close and Load 2. We'll put this on the existing sheet, click OK. Now if we want a total at the bottom, since this is an Excel table, we can actually come to the bottom and use the keyboard for the sum function, Alt equals. That actually adds the subtotal function, which is the total row in an Excel table. If our data changes, we add a record to the bottom. I'm going to hit the Tab key. We'll say sunshine of 100. I can come over and right click Refresh. And just like that, our report has updated. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out more ranking videos, check out these videos.